In this video, we are going to look at the term isoelectronic. We're going to examine what it means and make sure we have a good working understanding of that by looking at some examples. So any atom or ion that has the same electron configuration is said to be isoelectronic. So here are a couple of examples. We have F- minus with this electron configuration and O2- minus with this electron configuration. Notice how their electron configurations are the same. If we look at a periodic table of these two and we see it here blocked out, um, oxygen is helium 2s2 2p4. And if we add two more electrons, it gets the same electron configuration as neon. So when we say 2s2 2p6, we could also say that it is neon's electron configuration. So that would be equally correct. The same thing is true for the F minus. All right, helium, we have 2s2, 2p5, but if we add one more electron, we have 2p6. So we have the same electron configuration as neon. So both of these have a neon electron configuration. Now, one of the things that's worth noting is that some people would misunderstand this definition to say atoms or ions with the same number of electrons. And it is true that they must have the same number of electrons, but it is one step further. It is not only the same number of electrons, but it is also the same electron configuration. So both of these have a neon electron configuration. Now I would like for you to find the cation that is isoelectronic with F minus or O2 minus, or it might be more than one because you'll notice E here is both B and C. Did you select E? That both B and C, meaning both sodium and magnesium, are isoelectronic? Well, that's the correct answer. Let's look at our periodic table. If we were talking about sodium plus, it would be um, sodium, which is neon 3s1. That's sodium. So then when we remove the electron, we're removing this electron, and it has just a neon electron configuration. When we're talking about magnesium 2 plus, we're talking about magnesium, which is neon 3s2. But when we remove those two electrons, we just have neon. So those are the isoelectronic cations. Now here's another question. Is the electron configuration of vanadium the same as the electron configuration of iron 3 plus? In other words, are these isoelectronic? And you're just going to answer yes or no. Well, it is a bit tricky. They do have the same number of electrons, but they do not have the same electron configuration. So they can in some cases have the same number of electrons and not be isoelectronic. Let's examine these two. Let's do the electron configuration of just vanadium first. The noble gas that comes before vanadium is argon. And then we come across and we have 4s2 and 3d3. When we do iron 3 plus, we first do iron. Iron's electron configuration is argon, 4s2, 3d, and we're going to count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then when we remove the three electrons to make it Fe3+, we certainly will have the same number of electrons. But the electrons that we remove will be these two first and then one of the 3d. So it gives me 3d5. So these are examples of things that have the same number of electrons in them, but they are not the same electron configuration. So they are not isoelectronic. So it's a term that you need to get familiar with, and we will be utilizing that as we proceed through our lessons of what we can know about an element and its ions once we know it's an electron configuration. 